You and I try to find our way making our own light. But then Allah gives His light. Allah's lamp is the sun for us. That's not the light we turn on. That, that's the one Allah turns on. That's the one, we don't pay the electricity bill for the sun. You know, there's no oil being used up to light up the sun from us. That's the one Allah turns on. And when He turns His light on, then all of our lights are unnecessary. All of them become unnecessary. Isn't that true? Okay, that's in the physical sense, right? But I told you in this ayah, Allah talks about something physical, but wants to make you think about something what? Spiritual. Every person has their own way of finding guidance. Every person has their own philosophy. Every person has their own definition of right and wrong, their own conscience. And they could be slightly different from each other. Everybody's got their own little light. And then the light of revelation comes. And guess what? Your light is irrelevant now because the perfect light is here. You don't need to find guidance anymore. It's been given to you, subhanAllah. Allah is the light of the skies and the earth. How are you going to compare? How are you going to compare? Just like the lamp becomes irrelevant when the sun is out. My own pursuit of what should be right and what should be wrong. If it's not in line with the light of Allah, the one He sent from the sky, then I'm, it's an exercise in futility. What's the point of it? Another point about the light of the skies and the earth. Because a lot of scholars, when they said, how do human beings experience Allah's light? They experience it through the sun, through the moon.